All right, we got a, a question from Waris. Uh, what is the process for getting my Indian fiancé to the United States? Uh, if, you, if you intend to bring your Indian fiancé to the U.S. to marry them here, then that would be a K-1 fiancé visa. To qualify the petitioner, you must be a U.S. citizen and must, you bo must both be legally free to marry. That means any previous marriages must be terminated by death, divorce, or annulment. And lastly, you must have physically met in person at least once within the past two years. Uh, these are one of Rapid Visa specialties, and we have a very high success rate. And India is in our top ten right now; it's our number nine. So we do a lot from India. Uh, to get started, you can go to our website, create the free account, and enter, enter your, answer the questions in the online questionnaire, which will give us everything we need to generate the forms, and documents, and everything for your petition. Um, again, we've helped hundreds of customers from India, and as of 2018, the process has taken on average between six to nine months. Of course, these times may vary and they're not guaranteed. Um, after the initial phase, after that first filing, you'll have two more phases, the NVC and Embassy phase. This, at this phase, your fiancé will intend, attend an interview in Mumbai where a consular officer will ask some questions like we've been talking about. Make sure your relationship is genuine before approving her visa. Uh, prior to 2017, you could also interview in New Delhi, but since December 2017, Mumbai is the only embassy taking these types of visas, and uh, you'll also have to she'll have to get a medical exam, uh, which could range between 3,500 and 5,000 rupees, depending on which clinic she goes to. You can get those clinics at our site. Uh, any other information on India, you can go rapidvisa.com/india for more information on that. Yeah, India is easy. It's, it's I mean, most of the countries are actually fairly easy. K-1 visas are are not not very difficult, but India is certainly no problem. We, we do lots of them, but nothing to worry about. If you found this video useful, it would mean a lot to us if you could hit the like button and comment below to let us know what you think. You can also ask your own immigration questions in the comments below. If you want to make sure not to miss any of our future videos, we invite you to subscribe here on YouTube and be sure to click the notification icon so you can be alerted whenever we publish a new video. Also, don't forget to follow us on Facebook where you can watch our regular immigration Q&A live streams. 